This is the fishing pole that Ernie and Joey Polk used to pull in that over 800 pound Mako ashore. Typically, they use one of these, a tag. They put it in the shark and send him on his way. But this time, they got to bring the shark home. Got us a big Mako fixing to hit the hill. It took more than an hour to reel this 805 pound Mako shark ashore. Joey Polk has been fishing for sharks most of his life and has never caught a Mako like this one. Turned out to be quite the fish. It was one that we wasn't expecting. <laughs> Using a 150 pound line and custom pole his cousin Ernie yeah. built, Joey finally pulled the shark onto the beach. There was many a times that I thought, well, I'm fixing to be here a while, and then they's never one time did the thought go through my head that we're fixing to give up on this fish. Safety is the team's first concern. <laughs> never fishing around swimmers and doing the majority of fishing at night. We don't put no chum in the water. We actually take a kayak and paddle our baits out about 300 to 600 yards. Uh, that fish come off of a bait that was about 500 yards off the beach. You keeping him or letting him go? Joey wanted to release the Mako, but when they tried pushing it back huh? into the water, it was exhausted from the fight. So they put it in the bed of Joey's trunk and brought it home. Everybody that passed me give me thumbs up. I was just worried about getting home. They filleted the big fish and gave most away to friends and family. None will go to waste. It's hard to describe the taste. Makes, Mako is, is very fine eating, very tasty. In 2013, the cousins caught more than 300 sharks, releasing around 98%. Those released were tagged for research. The studies that's brought from that is, is fish movements, you know, where, where he's been, where he's going, you know, how big he was when you caught him, how, how many months at Liberty he was. The team will never give up their location. They don't want to give our area a shark infested reputation and they respect the hunter of the sea. We don't want a, a 200 boat shark tournament out there killing all these fish. They hope shark fishing will remain a family tradition. And I'll be passing along to my daughters and son and maybe they can go sit out there and take a chance to catch fish for a lifetime too. Together, the cousins hold three world records from the Land-Based Shark Fishing Association, one for catching a tiger shark weighing 949 pounds. It was released. Amber Southerd, Channel 3 News.